All right, everybody, we are back. Uh, this is part, what, seven of my zombie couple sculptured figurine. I'm Ryan. This is Ryan Does Everything. And today I'm going to talk about the sculpture build, and it's the dress. This was the hardest part. Um, I don't wear dresses. Um, and so, anyway, uh, first I started uh, putting on the... Uh, frying pan where it needed to go and tried to do as much as I could other than design the dress because it was just a little bit um, scary, overwhelming, etc. I fleshed up the uh, leg part so that it looked more like a leg because I realized I was going to need to have the dress hiked up as you can see here um, rather than flowing all the way to the floor uh, she's going to be in a, a fighting pose, so that means that you can't have, you know, things getting in the way. Um, and I did this kind of a bunched look. Um, my wife, she showed me um, how to get those folds, and, and I used the uh, the Dresden tool to pin sort of the, the different layers up together so it looked like it was ruffled. Um, I can show you a little bit of the uh, the inspiration that I used for this dress. Um, I kept the ends torn and kind of tattered, but not too much because, you know, didn't want to look like she had lost the battle against the zombies. Um, and you can see the different layers going on there as I tried to fit it in between her and uh, the groom. So then I worked on the bodice up on the top to keep her uh, covered up. And after doing that, I decided that it wasn't going to be enough. Um, I, I wanted more detail just because it, it shows the, the roughness of the flesh color. Um, I wasn't as happy with that. So I worked on this uh, little bolero jacket and the coolest coolest part was I I asked my wife I said so how do you get fondant to look sheer and she said you can't and I've looked online and there's a lot of it's really hard to do it because it's so thin and all of these other comments and and so I just said you know what I'm gonna try and so I rolled it as thin as I possibly could got really frustrated with it as it kept tearing um, and in places where I didn't want it to tear, you know. So I got it laid out on top of the, the flesh color and have this, this dress look. Uh, here you can see the, the different angles um, as I had finished that and was trying to decide what to do next. Um, and I went, uh, in the next part, I went and found some edible lace. And now I didn't make this out of a lace, um, but I, I had we I had purchased it and ended up using it. And here you can see just how small this project is compared to my hands. <laughs> so um, I'm using tweezers to lay the edible lace on the jacket, and uh, my hands are just way big compared to the compared to the tweezers, compared to the figurine. Um, it was very difficult to get anything to sit properly. Um, so there you can see it just fell off. Um, I was using edible lace and only just wetting it with water uh, to hold it down. In fact, actually here I think I did use some piping gel uh, on a brush. Um, but I wasn't very good at it. Okay, so here you can see I started with the inside collar of, uh, of the jacket and just laid on piece after piece. Uh, then I went around the back and I realized I wasn't going to be able to make this symmetrical, so I kind of had to do it as a wrap around her shoulder um, and then figure out how I was going to incorporate um, the lace on the other side. Um, any point that I got to a crevice like in the armpit or you know between around the sleeve um, I just pinched and cut and shoved uh, 
So I used a different style of lace on the arms uh, that I did on the, the top, her shoulders. Um, but it, it turned out okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm not as, you know, I could have done better if I'd planned better and got um, more of the, of the same pattern um, for, the, for the jacket. Here you can see a, a video as it goes around the, on the turntable. Um, and you can see I had uh, those two different patterns. There's spots under the arm, as you can see, that weren't finished in. So it was basically just trial and error with this edible lace. I put on this uh, big piece on the back. Um, the, uh, the pattern for the lace was a little different um, than I'd wanted, and so I ended up cutting pieces and basically splicing pieces together. You can see here on the chest, right, right about the sternum area where it has that, uh, that leaf look, um, that's a separate piece from the other side. And I did that just to uh, add it in, uh, try and make it look cohesive. Um, and uh, here it is. It's uh, all together with these pieces are, are what I used. And after the dress, um, I worked out these uh, smaller pieces as uh, the headdress. And in order to do a headdress, you need hair. So here's how I did the hair. Um, the hair started as these different colored light brown and cream colored strands that I just kind of rolled together. I didn't fold them at all, if that makes sense. I did do some twisting um, just to, to get some variation in it. And I would just roll it and roll it and, and fold it um, individually once rather than a bunch of times. And uh, then I rolled it all out, and so that way I could use and cut these little strips. I my hands were covered in oil so that this hair, these hair pieces wouldn't stick to me. And I rolled them around a skewer and made these little like spiral noodle kind of things um, with these strips of fondant for the hair. Made a bunch of them to have kind of a. Um, a, a that kind of a look going down and here you can see from the front as I stuck it on and then I started working on the sides and the top of her hair um, also using that that same color um, actually not a color that same uh, layer of, of fondant that had the the different strands of color throughout it the Dresden tool was my best friend it always is, <laughs> but here it was as I was poking and trying to get the, the hair details done. Um, and uh, just just kept working at it, had to cut pieces in and, or cut extra pieces in for that near her neck. And uh, so this picture shows kind of the style I was going for. Um, again, with blonde hair instead of uh, brunette. So there's the bun, and again I just I, I just rolled a little ball and squished it, and used the the Dresden tool to kind of put like a pillowed effect to it. Added uh, different stripes around the outside so that it would look like it was hair coming together in in a uh, a bun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe for the next video and to keep up with everything I'm doing. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, go out and amaze yourself and learn something new. See ya.